And because we make it happen, we've been able to grow year over year, which has been awesome for us. And through that process, with Switch involved, it, I can't imagine doing it without, because had we done it the old way, it, it would have just been a lot of challenges, a lot of, um, a lot of reworks, a lot of problems. And now the new way with automation, with switch at the middle, with pit stop actions, pit stop variable sets, using JDF job tickets with variables in it that we can pluck out, drop into the workflow, stop a flow, update it, maybe go in and define a new variable, enable the flow, and boom, right away, it's live in the production work stream. I mean, that's just incredible. It's before it would have taken meetings. We had to sit down and say, okay, you, you're gonna, you know, take the job and do this with it now. And you'd have two or three meetings, it'd take a week long, and then you gotta remind people what they're supposed to do with Switch. It's, it's you know, five minutes and you're live. We are the decal source. We're a wide format print company. We've been in business for over 24 years. We service all major motorsports series across the U.S. and so, several large commercial customers as well. As we started this journey, you know, we, we had a lot of challenges. We have a lot of custom jobs. So these custom jobs create exceptions, and then the exceptions create mistakes because you're, you're moving fast. You're seeing a lot of growth. We're trying to get things through production. You know, ultimately, things get messed up. And through that process, we evaluate our reworks, and then we evaluate them every week. When we sit down and look at the reworks, we say, okay, where's a pattern? Where is an opportunity to use switch? to reduce these reworks. Through trying to reduce our, our reworks with Switch has actually improved our bottom line quite a bit and also increased our productivity and the people are happier because you know they're not upset about having to rerun a job or look for a job that they can't find because it got lost in the shuffle. And when you're moving 40 orders through production daily and those 40 orders can consist of over you know, thousands and thousands of different decals that are custom, it, it can become challenging and, and frustrating. Once we found Switch and solved the one problem we were trying to solve with getting the JDF files into production, driving our equipment with JDF, that opened up a, a whole other you know, world to us that we had never seen before. So that was really cool. So at the beginning of this year, we saw double digit growth. And, and through that process, we were having to hire people. We were having to purchase some different equipment. And through that process, if if we didn't have Switch, it would have been like, you know, prior or four years before where there were missing files or, you know, something was printed the wrong size or the wrong quantity. Because when you're processing, you know, hundreds of orders a week, it just things happen. So with Switch, through that growth period, we were able to keep our reworks down and just overall get into a groove and just, just crank it out. So it was really awesome to see the whole team come together, production, art, install, and just produce a large volume of work in, in such a short period of time. And, and Switch was a big part of that, definitely automating start to finish. If a customer calls the same day, sometimes they want a car, a full car wrap the next day, or they want a UPS next day air that night. So it became you know, within the last five years, it became a stopping point to us where we were like, I don't know if we can do this in this amount of time, but what if we can? Like, what are the tools we need to make this actually happen? So Switch was able to do that for us. Um, so the speed was just unbelievable for what we were able to do. Um, and that's what I saw initially in it. I was like, this is gonna save me so much time and so much effort um, as a printer you know, as a print operator. Uh, and at this point I was already in art, but I was thinking production wise, you know. With having Switch, we've been able to reduce our errors in production, you know, uh, I'd say at least 50% easily as far as just trying to track down orders and things like that. And then as far as our items that were running through Switch, you know, we went from basically a, a manual process to pushing about 90% of all items through Switch. One of the big benefits we saw right out of the gate was the ability to bring files into our RIP. And before, it would be a manual task, so you'd have to open the jobs, bring them in, size them, set the quantity. Once we were able to put switch in the middle, we were able to basically drop 
10, 20, 100 files at once. Switch picks them all up, takes them, routes them all to the correct printers. The, the rip stations start ripping the, the jobs and we're able to evaluate our impositions, our nesting. And I mean, what once took an hour to prep, you know, four or five jobs for a run, I mean, now it's, it's minutes, you know? So it's really improved that a lot. Yeah, th so through utilizing our action lists, um, we've been able to do a few things on the back end that we don't even use Switch for. For instance, um, we do standees, which is just a race car driver um, at his actual height. So it's a race car driver. You've probably seen it stood up at six foot, right? Um, so it takes a long time in Illustrator or Photoshop to actually trace out the driver um, to get it nice and neat. Um, so it may take anywhere from 15 minutes to 30 minutes. And sometimes we have orders where it's 10 of them. So that takes up your whole day, right? Well, in an action list, uh, there's an image trace feature that's really, really accurate. So all I have to do is bring in the photograph of the driver, tell it to image trace the driver, and it outlines it with maybe 1,000, 2,000 points. Super accurate. And then I'm able to open it back up in Illustrator, simplify the points a little bit, and um, I'm good to go within five minutes. You know, and it saved me a whole day, a whole day's worth of work. So you've gone from eight hours to maybe 20 minutes of work. Another big benefit that, that, that we've gotten from Switch has been with our cutting, with our zooms. So during peak times, you know, cut time, most shops, they have one, two, they, you know, the bottleneck is at cutting. So uh, a solution for that is, is one, you figure out how to cut something faster or figure out a, a different way to set the job up so the, the cut lines aren't as complex. And what we found is that, you know, when you round the corners on your, on your art boxes or your weed boxes is it improves cutting time. That was actually came from someone in production. They're like, if we could round the corners on all, all of our weed boxes in production, it could save us 50% cut time. I was like, okay, well, let's figure out how to do it in Switch. So in Switch, we take the files, we take it into pit stop, we remove all the existing weed boxes, trim boxes, and then we add our own custom one with rounded corners, and that's improved our, our cut workflow tremendously and actually reduced our cut time quite a bit. Just, just from that one little tweak, just brought, it the, brought, brought a lot of benefit. Something new we worked into our workflow that we went live with this year that was only possible with Switch was the ability to put a label on every decal that we make. And that label has you know, work order number, it has finishing processes, it has quantity. And basically when you drop that JDF file into that hot folder, you can create a you know, data set. And then within that data set, you can pull out variables. So like, does it get pre-masked? Does it get laminate? What type of material is it going on? All these variables are then used and they're built out into a, a label that tells production exactly what they should have in front of them. So that label was a huge part of our being able to have as much growth as we did and to do it successfully because now you have every decal with a custom label, even with the, the number that it is on the work order. So it's a very unique individual piece of information that's specific to that one decal, that point in time, and that specific order. So working with the exchange, you know, again, back to me being one that likes to figure out how things work. I, I got in there and I was, I was trying to figure out how to solve some other problems, tried to recreate our current scripts that we had written, our custom Adobe scripts, trying to recreate some of the functions that they were doing. And through that, just figured out Look, there's professionals out there that, that do this all day long that could accomplish what I'm trying to do. It might take me four hours. They could do in, you know, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. So email support at, at Exchange. They got back to us. They either determined, do we need a custom script in Switch or do we, can we just solve it with the standard elements that come, you know, out of the box? And most of the time, the standard elements out of the box will solve it. Uh, something else that's great about Switch that I like is the, the App Store. So it's, it's grown a lot in the last four years. When I started using Switch, that was fairly new. You know, there's a few apps in there. And then over the years, it's really grown quite a bit. So you'll find there's oftentimes free solutions that can solve your problem you know, with, with an app. 
And then, you know, we have a few apps that we're using in our different flows that are through the App Store. Since we've had so much growth, our MIS has really struggled to keep up. And through that process, we've started shopping for a new MIS. And that's taken me down a road where I almost look to see if the companies offering MISs offer a out-of-box solution, maybe workflows that are already pre-built for the MIS to integrate with Switch. Because Switch is such a big part of our production now that it, it can drive everything. So it only makes sense to, to look for a product that you know, out of the box integrates. And I've found a few so far and I'm evaluating them and it, it excites me to know that there's more possibilities if the MIS is on the same page as Switch. And then, then you, you know, things will really open up to where the integration starts and the uh, two-way synchronization back and forth and getting data, in, you know, not only out of your MIS, but also getting the data back into the MIS. Tribal knowledge where if I can't remember something from 2010, then how is somebody supposed to remember it from 2020? So we just have a list of all these unique jobs that um, have a unique setup. Um, and we were hiring so many people. I mean, you know, five years ago, there were 30 people. Now there's 50, right? Um, so the biggest, the biggest gain Switch has is that we were able to automate a lot of this knowledge into Switch and we were able to lower reworks by about 50%. So um, we're saving money, we're saving time. I'm a self-taught programmer. It's not, I you know, didn't go to school for it, went to school for business. But through my curiosity and learning how things work, I was able to script some, some production scripts that are used daily. Um, and then once we purchased Switch and brought it in, then we took our current script sets at our current framework and we were able to replicate those in Switch. And once we had those replicated in Switch, we were able to then you know, take it from there. And the, the beauty of it is that everyday users can go into Switch and they can take that and they can make modifications to it. Does it require a, a background in coding to go in and make a change to a variable or to a Switch flow? And that was one thing that really drew me to Switch and has been really, really beneficial for us.